standing tall. So I'm walking along the streets of Liverpool with my co-writer, George Seaton, and I said, nobody's ever made a musical, have they, of the liver birds, looking up at the liver birds. And George said, why don't you? When I come back to the city Unbelievably popular in, in its day, it had 20 million viewers, so back then who didn't watch it? It really put Liverpool on the map. So we meet Beryl and Sandra outside their old flat in Huskisson Street, and they bump into each other by chance, or is it by chance? They're, they're still basically the same characters today as they were back in the 1970s. They just need to rediscover themselves. So it's really exciting to have it on stage, really exciting. I mean, I can't wait for it to be open to the public. What's really important is that they are women that you know and women that you've known and women that you've had, um, that you, you, that, whose experiences you've shared. We wanted to make the characters authentic to the original series, absolutely true to the spirit of the life of birds. Oh my goodness me, look what's happened to Beryl and Sandra. Oh right, you know, and, and see that journey in their journey as well. Because if you knew Beryl and Sandra then, you're Beryl and Sandra's age now. Uh, the first time I saw Lucy and Nick, they walked into the stalls fully made up in costume. I just turned around and, and literally did a double take. Oh my God, look at you two. <laughs> I would imagine a lot of the audience are looking at some of those clothes and thinking I have those too, because I am. <laughs> it's a fantastic story, uh, which is complemented by fantastic music. Carla Lane series was perfect, but Carla was never able to go, what happened to them now? And that's what we did. We started by saying, what happened to them now? Like every theatre, there's only a limited number of performances and a limited number of seats available, so don't miss out. <laughs>